Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I uh, haven't done a video in a while, <laughs> I've been doing some traveling. Um, so uh, anyway, before I start, I'm assuming most people at this channel came from my other channel, um, Comics Matter with your boy Zach, but if you didn't, if you just found this because you're into movies and TV, and that's what I review on this uh, channel, I uh, just want you to know I've got an Indiegogo finishing tomorrow for a book called Jawbreaker's God King. It's a, uh, a fun comic book. It's kind of like the Expendables meets the Avengers type of thing. Super powered mercenaries. Uh, it's like a mainstream, fun, exciting uh, comic book with some really fantastic art. So I'll put the link to that in the description. And of course, I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna do my one advertisement for my Indiegogo on the uh, video. That's probably gonna get the lowest views because this isn't superhero. It's not sci-fi, and it's a movie that most of the time when I mention it, people they go, "Oh God, that thing." So this is Black Hat from 2015. Uh, Directed by Michael Mann, uh, Chris, Hems Chris uh, Hemsworth as the lead. And uh, I absolutely love this movie. I've seen it probably, I don't know, three or four times. And it came out uh, shortly after I had gotten into IT, when I was still like a basic sysadmin. Uh, but it was the year I got into cybersecurity. I got, I got my Security Plus cert, and then I started working as a, what information security engineer. Um, and uh, I worked uh, cybersecurity for a couple years. And I've got to say, of all the TV shows and, and movies I've seen that have deal, dealt with cybersecurity issues and you know exploits and uh, social engineering and all those aspects, uh, I think this one is the best. It's, mo it's the most accurate. Now, yes, some of the scenes, um, if you're, you know, in the industry, they literally sound like, I'm going to use a computer to do the internet. But most of the stuff is pretty solid, and some of it is even uh, uh, quite um, accurate. It's actually the main, um, the main, uh, oh god, well, yeah, what was it, Stuxnet. The main, uh, or the beginning plot point, which is a nuclear reactor uh, meltdown, was actually copied almost verbatim from an actual um, uh, cyber attack which was uh, Stuxnet. It was on a, uh, what was it called, SCADA network. It's like a self-contained network. It's not, you, it's not connected to the internet. So you actually have to get in there and put a USB uh, or you know, some way to you know, uh, get an uh, exploit uh, onto that um, uh, network. But it basically uh, messed with the timing of some fans and uh, so it's the same thing with this. With this, they actually do something more interesting. So what this is about is uh, Chris Hemsworth, government named Chris Helmsworth, according to Rich Evans on uh, uh, Red Letter Media. But um, there's an attack at a nuclear plant in China, and then uh, it, it, there's evidence of code that was written by an American in prison. So a team comprised of uh, the FBI, I believe one marshal, and then some guy from an agency in China who is kind of coincidentally the ex-roommate of Chris Hemsworth's character, um, they all form this little task force along with the, the Chinese guy's sister. He's, he's like an officer in the Chinese military in their cyber division or something, something like that. Uh, so they're basically on the case to find this uh, major cyber criminal and find out what he is. Now, that actually... I think I explained that fairly straightforward, but this is a Michael Mann movie. So as much as it's got like this solid, you know, current year thriller plot, it still gets washed or kind of laundered through Michael Mann doing what Michael Mann does. Everyone is very, you know, photogenic. Even if I would call them sort of like average looking actors or actresses, they never look better than they do in a Michael Mann movie. Uh, there's lots of just just cool, um, moody scenes, and it's got a pace. I think the pace, more than anything else, is the thing that makes people say, oh, God. Whenever I mention Black Cat, everyone's like, oh, Jesus, freaking movie. Now, I don't want to sound like Patrick Willems, but... It's hard to say this. It's hard, it's hard to say stuff like this without sounding incredibly condescending. I think a lot of people saying they don't like it is just because they got a little confused. The, the cyber espionage, cyber security, cyber attack 
and investigations and all of those type of things are pretty solid. But I totally understand if the average person does not think that's interesting. That's why you get really photogenic you know, uh, uh, people and you put them in cool clothes and they got cool hairdo and the wind's blowing their hair in the face and everyone looks awesome. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like, it's almost like a, 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 a lose-lose situation. You want to tell a realistic story about a cyber attack and an investigation, but then it also has to be exciting and then it also has to hold the uh, attention of normies. It, it's basically not, it's, not calculated to be successful. If I remember correctly, it was a super flop. And I think it's the reason that uh, Chris Hemsworth, when he's not doing Marvel movies, is basically doing comedies. His, his comedy timing is pretty good, but I gotta tell you, his acting chops are excellent. One of the things I always say about, there are some people, uh, Tom Cruise seems to be the exception. There are some people that their looks really hurt their acting career in a way. Like they get jobs but you don't notice that they're a good actor for a while. Now, you might say something like Brad Pitt. The deal is, go watch Brad Pitt's earlier movies. He's not a very good actor. His first movies he got was because he's a good looking guy. He grew into being a good actor. One person who is a good actor that I always say, if he, if he went bald and gained 100 pounds, he would be like a character actor in all like, you know, the good, Stephen Amell. I, I will bet well, I actually, you can't bet on something subjective. <laughs> I'm just going to say, Stephen Amell is a legitimately excellent actor, but he looks like an action figure, so he just gets action figure roles. But he can really, he can sell some really poorly written scenes uh, in the TV shows he's in. Um, and uh, Chris Hemsworth is the, first of all, the other thing I noticed about Chris Hemsworth, again, this is a comic book thing. If you ever read any uh, John Buscema comics, especially his Conan comics, in this movie, the way Chris Hemsworth looks is how uh, John Buscema draws men, like all the time. So I was like, this, he looks like a John Buscema drawing come to life. So um, I really like this. It was very, very exciting to me to have um, the aspects of uh, real life cybersecurity, uh, uh, real life cyber attacks, um, and then analysis, forensics, countermeasures. I especially like the social engineering part of it, which is very very real that, that's a huge thing um, uh, and I thought that stuff was fantastic I, I thought everyone looked great I thought the the scenes looked great um, the gunfights eh, oh my gosh I gotta say there's this one guy I don't know his name his, he, he's in everything you'll know him when you see him oh geez that guy's in everything uh, he plays the marshal and he's got this 1911 pistol 45 caliber and oh my gosh this pistol needs its own sequel and spinoff because with this 45 caliber pistol, he can pick people off at 200 meters away. People firing fully automatic freaking AK variants firing at him and he'll just take him. No, 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 no. You're not planking people at 200 meters in a firefight with a 45 caliber, you know, aiming with iron sights. I don't care if you took that extra half second to aim. It's not happening. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of like rifles against pistols and they're like, eh. Um, but generally like, um, especially th there, there's like two villains. There's kind of like the, the bag man, they call him, you know, the, the heavy, the tough guy, some mercenary. He's doing the shooting and bombs and threatening people. And then you have the other guy who's the actual cyber criminal. And he's, he actually has like a, Oh, well, it's weird. It's it's interesting and boring at the same time. <laughs> like, his plan is just to manipulate stocks. And I always talk about this with Mission Impossible 2. I love that movie, but I'm a dummy when it comes to stocks. I don't... Uh, wait. Just steal some money. Like, at one point, he gets a lot of money. He gets, like, $74 million. But he's using that to buy options. Spoiler. On tin. Um, and I was like... Oh, yeah, stocks are boring. <laughs> I think the only time I thought stocks were interesting was at the end of Trading Places. Remember when they're like, this is like uh, like, a, like you would find on a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. And then Eddie Murphy looks straight at the camera like, damn, these people are condescending. Well, I appreciated their condescension because I actually didn't get confused. Um, this, this stock stuff is pretty, I can understand it. You create a shortage so the people who do have it their 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 tin is going to be more valuable but it's like eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. 
I would have had that guy um, called Tin Man as his like little hacker name. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I love it, but I totally understand if you hate it. it. It seems to be very specifically made for me. I always talk about this in my comic reviews. It's a visual medium. So everyone should be photogenic. The sets should be photogenic, the, the, the costumes. I don't want people to look like schlubs. I want cool lighting. I don't care if it's realistic. I want everything to look cool because it's a visual medium. So they got that down. The cybersecurity stuff was good. There were some good fights. You know, people were kind of laughing. They're like, ha ha, Chris Hemsworth is a hacker. Look up the history of hacking. There are plenty of major, like, super cyber criminals, because he's actually, he, he was a cyber criminal as well, um, who look like him. There's all, it's not just all fat nerds. Like, there, there's a couple of them who look almost exactly like he, he does. So that never struck me as being silly, but I think for the average person, they'll ha ha ha, that's stupid. Um, but anyway, uh, I would give it a general recommend. Um, uh, I also think people thought this was going to be an action mo- movie, and even though there's a good amount of fight and action scenes, it's it's not an action movie. It's a um, slow thriller, <laughs> a turgid thriller. I don't know. It's my recommend sounds like I'm roasting it. I, I legitimately love this movie. I, I bought it, and I, I don't buy many movies. Um, yeah, I, I think I've only bought like four movies. Okay, so let's see what what I bought. I bought Prometheus. I bought Star Trek Into Darkness. I brought I, I bought uh, Black Hat, and I bought a uh, Gunman with uh, Christopher Lambert and uh, Mario Van Peebles. Have I done a video on Gunman? Oh, I gotta do one. I freaking love that movie so much. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll have um, another uh, review up tomorrow. Bye.